Okay, we've got the Defender 110 X St. John's Ambulance Service. Um, this is the V8 petrol Rover V8 model. Of course, it's the four wheel drive. Um, let's have a quick look on the cab. I've seen better, but it's nice and original. With obviously the modification by the various coach builders that have done this one. Yeah, it looks nice and complete. Obviously there's a few modifications here from when it was an ambulance. Gazing down on the odometer, 32,000 miles. We've got a choke here. Lights up. Mm, the only thing that deters me, especially for the sort of application I'd use it for, um, is the standing height in the rear, which of course is pretty much non-existent. <clears throat> well, these amazingly designed steps where it involves using two hands, so there we go. facilities on the rear, missing the towing eye of course, but it's all wired up nicely. I have to say that step wasn't too difficult to break out. They're usually quite stiff on this uh, type of vehicle. But yeah, the standing height, for lack of better demonstration, nice if it was around there but not even on the second step Whoa. so yeah you're talking around five foot six in the back obviously it's got a good width it's gonna be quite difficult to try this one out but there goes nothing that's about 170 centimeters i will confirm these details by the way in the description, just see if I'm any good at guesstimating. Overhead storage, nice little survival package left here. Um, some bench seats, and not a great deal going on in the back of there. Looks like it's got one of those heaters here in the back. Lighting, uh, sort of like a basic. Uh, extraction unit there on the uh, near side rear front ceiling. Obviously it's not particularly well insulated. Um, for camp van purposes you probably want to insulate it but it'd make a great day van or I suppose um, shop of some form or anything really it's quite cool. Chassis wise, we've sent it to EV. As you can see, it's nice and tidy. So there we have it the V8 110. Just quickly over here. This one's also just rear turn on EV. The chassis on this is pretty good as well. Really professional job. And by the way, um, we'd never do it to hide anything either. It's all done to really high standards there. So when you come and 
inspect, etc. Um, I think you'll appreciate the uh, level that the guys go to on these things. So yeah, hope you found this useful. Catch you next time.